Agriculture is closely monitoring South Carolina's farms after the Department of Natural Resources declared a drought status for most of the state. Our Georgery Godfrey explains what this means and the potential impact on the state's agriculture. 35 of the state's 46 counties are currently under a drought status, a designation that could have an impact on farms in the state. Many counties in South Carolina have not received rainfall amounts local farms need for production. Plants need about a minimum of an inch a week. Putting majority of the state's counties under a drought status. In the summer, um, our rainfall comes mostly through thunderstorms, and that rainfall can be very spotty. An inconsistency that could jeopardize South Carolina farms. $6,000. John Fogel has been farming for more than 50 years. It's a 1990 model. He says conditions right now in the state are manageable, but he has seen firsthand the impact of extreme drought. Our hay crop was probably a quarter of what it should be. We had to wind up selling animals. For majority of farms in the state, rain is the only way to water the land, and a lack of rainfall puts stress on the crops and land used for animals to graze. Only about 4% of farmland in South Carolina is irrigated. So by and large, farmers still depend on Mother Nature to deliver the rainfall that uh, crops need. You know, if we had our way, we would ask for rain showers to come at night and the bright sunshine to come during the day, and we'd get a shower of rain at least once a week. It doesn't work that way. Drought is something that all of us have to live with. The state has about 25,000 farms spread over 4 million acres of land. In Blythewood, George Rick Godfrey, 7 News. Now, because 6 to 14 inches of rain fell along the coast over the last 30 days, several of the counties have been taken off the drought status list, including Georgetown, Berkeley, and Charleston counties. Oconee, Pickens, and Anderson counties have seen normal rainfall amounts.